Here's your Precision TO4E Turbo Rebuild video. This is a Precision 6262 that I'm doing a rebuild on. If you follow this exactly as I show you, you'll have a successful rebuild. Before you watch this video, it's best that you watch the Precision uh, 6262 Turbo Checklist video so that you know all the different variations that they had with these turbos so that you know when you're putting it together that you're doing it the correct way. First off, you want to make sure everything's clean and insert the journal bearing or the inner clip and then the journal bearing and then the outer clip and make sure that it's seated properly. Then you can put the thrust spacer on there and then the thrust bearing goes on next. Then install a rubber o-ring and prepare the plate to go on. So put the front seal on the thrust collar and do it exactly as I show you by spreading the gap. And then once that's on there, you can install that into the front seal plate. Add oil to the front seal and the collar. This will help it make it go in easy and help protect it once you start up the engine. When you press the collar into the plate, make sure it fully seats all the way down. However, you'll notice sometimes there'll be a little bit of wear on the seal plate from in and out play, but that play doesn't or that wear doesn't matter because the collar does not ride up against the plate it actually rides it rides up against the thrust bearing so it's retained by that and won't come any farther forward towards the seal plate before you put these 10 millimeter bolts in the seal plate to hold the bearing housing down make sure you use some blue loctite to help prevent them from coming out install the inside retainer ring and then put the journal bearing in and add some oil and then install the outside retaining ring to hold the journal bearing in place if the bearing retainer rings are not correctly inserted to hold the journal bearing in place, the shaft can move around and hit the turbine housing and cause the whole turbo to be destroyed. So make sure you do this process correctly and make sure that the C-clips are installed inside the groove and not a little bit out of the groove. If the retaining ring has went too far inside the bearing housing, you can carefully pull the journal bearing back to snap the ring in place. For the rear seal, make sure that you spread the gap on it and don't bend, bend it by moving one side at a time. If you spread the gap evenly over top of the shaft, it will go on the best way and it will prevent from bending it. If you do bend the rear seal, then the turbo will not spin correctly and eventually it will lock up onto the turbine and cause the shaft, seal, and the bearing housing needing to be replaced. Add oil to the shaft where the journal bearings ride and then prepare it to be inserted into the bearing housing. When you insert the shaft into the bearing housing, make sure that you spin the shaft in a circle so that it helps seat the rear seal and helps it go in easy. If you don't do it this way and force the shaft in without spinning the shaft, then it will bend the seal up and then you'll have to replace the seal and possibly the shaft. Install the compressor wheel, then the lock nut with Loctite. And then in this case, we balance the assembly, so we will have to clock the compressor housing or the compressor wheel in the same position as the shaft once we balanced it. Then you can snug the compressor nut up by hand and then add one fourth turn with a wrench. Or you could just torque it down to seven foot pounds. I'll leave all the product links in the description. If you have any questions, you can always contact us at TurboLabAmerica at gmail.com.